At a bend in the English Coulee, two miles west of Grand Forks, it all began. On 20 acres of newly donated prairie land, the University of North Dakota would be built. Grand Forks was relatively new. It had been incorporated for less than 10 years, and statehood was six years into the future. To launch this new venture on the desolate prairie was a bold initiative. Frontier boomer and cunning politician George Walsh played an important role. His work to move a bill through the territorial legislature established UND. In the early years, there were few high schools in the region, which meant students were not prepared for college-level work. University facilities were limited, and resources were scarce. Despite these challenges, the school opened its doors in 1884. By 1889, the university graduated its first class, six women and two men. That same year, North Dakota became a state. As the university entered the 20th century, it grew steadily. New buildings were constructed, enrollment increased, and social life began to flourish. Entertainment was increasingly emphasized with events such as the May Fate and Flickertail Follies. During the 1970s, the university transformed into a multi-million dollar enterprise. Enrollment increased to more than 11,000. Today, UND has attained global recognition for its many acclaimed programs. While the University of North Dakota has evolved, some things remain constant. UND graduates high achieving professionals, leaders, and scholars. Today, we celebrate Founders Day. It's also a day to honor the people who have built on the dreams of our founders. Please welcome the host of this event, the 13th president of the University of North Dakota, Andrew Armacost. Last February, I attended Founders Day for the first time. I was already impressed with UND faculty and staff, but after the event, my admiration for your dedication and talent grew considerably. This is a place that honors history, a place that values people who make remarkable contributions by working together. You make a difference. You make a difference to our students, to their families, to our state, our region, and the world. We can't gather in person today, but we can come together by using technology. We can still celebrate our history and our colleagues. The people we will honor today have made our university better. Founders Day is our official birthday. It marks the anniversary of the signing of the Dakota Territory legislation that established UND. The first celebration of Founders Day was held in 1904. Since then, we spend time every year to remember our past and honor people who make a difference. Our celebration today will include a tribute to UND employees who have served for 25 years. We will also recognize those who are retiring and starting a new chapter in their lives. Another part of our tradition is to honor our academic colleagues. We'll present awards to outstanding faculty, departments, advisors, and researchers who have excelled during the past year. Like our founders, the people we honor tonight believe no obstacle is too big and no challenge too great. Throughout our history, we have faced our share of adversity, but each time we've come back stronger. For us, persistence pays off. In good times, we've grown and developed new ideas and foundations for future generations. We always stick to our principles and values, and we thrive. I am honored to host this Founders Day event. And now, let's start our celebration with a special performance by students from the Department of Music. The University of North Dakota's alma mater is set to the Emperor's Hymn by Joseph Haydn. The lyrics were written by Professor John Mackney, who graced our campus from 1897 through 1909. Here is the UND alma mater.
The alma mater speaks about our important mission and reputation. The people we will honor in this program live out this mission every day. They have truly created a home of lofty thought and learning. The reputation that they helped build for UND makes us a beacon o'er our Western land. Thank you for keeping the flame lit. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the Chancellor of the North Dakota University System. Mark Hagerot earned his PhD in history from the University of Maryland. He comes from a multi-generation North Dakota family of farmers and energy producers. His family homesteaded in Center and Mandan, where his father continues to spend time on a fourth generation farm. Please welcome the Chancellor of the North Dakota University System, Mark Hagerot. Thank you, President Armacost. I'm honored to record this video message on behalf of the celebration of the University of North Dakota's 138th birthday. Congratulations, UND, and congratulations to all the people who will be honored during this virtual Founders Day event. Special congratulations to those staff and faculty members being recognized for 25 years of service, those staff and faculty who have retired or will be retiring this fiscal year, and the Faculty Department Award winners. This day is yours to celebrate as much as anyone's. The work done by UND continues to help lead NDUS and our state through the challenges of the COVID pandemic. The campus exerted an epic effort in innovation and transformation to keep the students, faculty, staff, and your community safe. You also helped the rest of the system through your leadership. And recent surveys have shown that staff and faculty at your campus overwhelmingly feel supported and have the resources they need to provide students with the opportunities for success. Your tireless work proved your unyielding respect and service to education. I'd also like to thank and recognize all the alums who donated through the UND Angel Fund to help students who had been severely impacted by COVID. That was a very thoughtful act and many other campuses took note of that. UND continues to lead the way in many facets of higher education. Aviation, law, medicine have long been at an incredible core of programs here. And with the many other vital programs throughout the liberal arts, the humanities and engineering, and the unmanned systems offerings that have kept UND at the forefront of education and emerging trends. Your work here in online education continues to be the model for much of the rest of the university system as well as the nation and is another big win that you can all be proud of. And not to mention UND's researchers are helping this state and the country in multiple ways. It's due to the work of faculty and staff in these colleges and throughout UND that this school continues to be so highly thought of throughout our region. You do so because you love the pursuit of knowledge, as well as sharing it with the next generation through formal instruction right here and through the internet. Evidence of that is present across many metrics, from graduation rates and the number of degrees awarded to the number of students enrolled in at least one of the digital courses. So President Armcost, members of the faculty and staff, you've helped bring UND to another milestone, and you should be proud. I don't think it's much of a stretch to say that those who helped get this university off the ground 138 years ago would be proud as well to see the opportunities for student success that you have offered here today. It's important that we continue to work together for the benefit of our organizations and on the behalf of the students. We've been through some tough times these past year, but the future is beginning to look bright for all of them thanks to your efforts. And I'm hopeful and confident that the work here today will continue to benefit our state and our communities for another 138 years. Congratulations. Serving the university for 25 years is a remarkable milestone. The honorees in this category have made long-term contributions, not only to their departments, but to the institution as a whole. They are often viewed as experts who bring a sense of history to the table. They shape our discussion about development and strategy. They guide us, and they represent the part of our culture that makes UND a remarkable institution. The honorees in this category come from all over campus, from research labs, classrooms, maintenance shops, financial offices, and student services. They are teachers, researchers, finance managers, painters, scientists, and planners. Their collective knowledge often motivates their colleagues and students. When challenges occur, they often volunteer and take on tasks that are not part of their job descriptions. 
dedication and commitment are words often used to describe them. Now it is my pleasure to introduce you to the faculty and staff who have served for 25 years. Farewell. It's more than a simple expression. It evokes our deepest emotions about people we appreciate. Farewell. It's our way of saying we wish the best for you as you leave us and embark on a rite of passage. The Norwegian word for farewell is farvel. To honor the people who are retiring this year, we say, Farvel. Farvel is also the name of a song written by Daniel Peterson, a member of our alumni community who earned his Master of Music degree in conducting. The lyrics for the song were written in 1899 by a 13-year-old Norwegian boy, Halvor Langset. Before leaving his home country to journey to America, Langset wrote a poem that was inscribed on a beam in his family's summer cabin. It was his farewell message to his home country. His poem has become the lyrics to the song composed by Mr. Peterson. To pay tribute to our retirees, students from the UND Department of Music will perform Farvel. Along with their performance, you'll see images of our retirees. To all of you who are featured in this segment, I express my deep appreciation for your loyalty and commitment to UND. I bid you farewell.
Every year, we honor select members of our faculty and staff, as well as academic departments, for their outstanding work. To present this year's awards, please welcome our provost, Debbie Storrs. Thank you, President Armacost. We're going to begin our award presentation with something new. This year only, we'll acknowledge eight faculty members for their work resulting from the challenges created by the pandemic. Each of these faculty members were identified by the TADA Instructional Design staff. And we're calling this recognition the UND Award for Excellence in Online Course Development and Innovative Teaching Strategies. The honorees in this category created these online content in their courses to keep students engaged. Some faculty members used current topics to illustrate major objectives. Diverse methods were incorporated to enhance student learning, including things like PowerPoint, games, videos, blogs, discussion groups, and case studies. Some students took oral exams using Zoom. Others participated in scavenger hunts and even practice tests before big exams. The time and effort these faculty members took to restructure their online courses made such a difference to their students. So here are the recipients for the UND Award for Excellence in Online Course Development and Innovative Teaching Strategies. Stacy Bjorgard for Introduction to Engineering and Computer Applications in Engineering. Frank Bowman for Chemical Engineering Fundamentals. Steve Finney for First Year Norwegian II. Amanda Hagee for Human Anatomy and Physiology I. Douglas Munsky for Geography of North America I, John Schab for Biochemistry, Lisa Vojasek for Curriculum Instruction and Assessment, and Deborah Worley for the College Student. Congratulations to all of you for going the extra mile to give our students an outstanding experience. Every year, members of the UND community are encouraged to nominate faculty, departments, and academic advisors for awards. Nominations are evaluated by various committees and winners are selected based on the criteria established for each award. Our first award is the UND Foundation McDermott Faculty Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching. This assistant professor is always looking for ways to improve his courses. He incorporates active learning methods to help motivate and inspire students. His department chair said he routinely tries new high impact and innovative educational practices. His student evaluations are uniformly excellent, especially in the area of student engagement. One student wrote, his teaching style challenged me to think critically. It gave me the confidence to engage in conversations with others about challenging topics. Not only does the professor teach full time in his home department, but last year he also took on extra courses in teaching and learning and the honors program. This faculty member is also valued for his service and research activity. He's a member of the UND Essential Studies Committee, and he was appointed to the Task Force on the Future of Education at UND. Regarding these appointments, his chair said, his peers value his view on education. He's a valuable contributor to our mission. This year's award for excellence in undergraduate teaching goes to Chris Feligi. <laughs> The next award is the UND Foundation Lydia and Arthur Psyche Award for Individual Excellence in Teaching. The professor we recognize with this award is known for going out of his way to help and support students. During the pandemic, a student in his class was having difficulty and even thought about dropping out for the semester. The student wrote, I cannot stress enough how vital he was to my success. His kindness enabled me to stay in school. This student was very clear, our nominee made every effort to foster success during the challenges brought about by the pandemic. This professor also believes in giving undergraduates an opportunity to engage in his research. His department chair wrote, during any given semester, he will have the largest number of undergraduate research advisees, and went on to say, some of his undergraduate students have conducted experiments at world-renowned facilities. Nominators also talked about the passion and excitement this professor brings to the classroom and his profession. One student wrote, Wayne is a legend. This year's award for individual excellence in teaching goes to Wayne Barkhouse. The next award is the UND Foundation McDermott Award for Excellence in Graduate or Professional Teaching. This associate professor is known for her ability to inspire students. She creates an environment that fosters curiosity, creativity, and critical thinking. Her commitment to promote student engagement is evident by student comments. 
four previous students who were preparing for a competition wrote, each weekend while the team was practicing, she traveled from her home in Fargo to UND to coach students. This effort took eight to 12 hours each day and it went on for more than two months. Her dean wrote, she has provided excellent leadership in areas of our curriculum that require highly refined organizational abilities and significant student feedback. She consistently works to adjust her teaching methods based on evaluations from students. And one student wrote, She's exactly the kind of professor a student hopes to have during law school. When classes started during the fall semester, she handed out a welcome bag to students, which included a hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes, and a face mask that said, objection, your honor. Her dean said, this gesture tells students that she cares about them as learners and individuals. This year's award for excellence in graduate or professional teaching goes to Denitza Mavrova Heydrich. The next award is a UND Foundation B.C. Gamble Faculty Award for Excellence in Teaching, Research, or Creative Activity and Service. This associate professor loves to teach and collaborate. The dean of his college said he keeps students at the center of every one of his teaching, research, and service activities. He's an excellent role model. One of his online students said he's a constant cheerleader for students. He feels our pain. He uses incredible teaching methods and makes us want to work harder. This candidate is also known for his ability to collaborate with other departments to conduct research. One colleague said his best contributions are those larger efforts that build the overall research capacity and reputation of UND. A Chester Fritz distinguished professor who collaborated with our honoree said it was a refreshing experience. And one of his former graduate students said, I would not be where I am today if it were not for his creative research focused mind. This former student is now the Director of STEM Education at the University of Alabama. This year's award for excellence in teaching, research, or creative activity and service goes to Frank Bowman. The next award is a UND Award for Departmental Excellence in Teaching. Despite having a small faculty, this department's instructional activities demonstrate incredible breadth. Faculty provide knowledge, theoretical framework, and practical experience for a successful career. One alumna wrote, my professors believed in me and gave me the confidence to push myself beyond what I thought I was capable of. In addition to students in their department's programs, a significant number of students enroll in one of the department's essential studies courses, about 630 students per year. The Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival invited their students to perform a scene from their production of Sweeney Todd during the festival. This performance was one of only 10 scenes chosen from more than 200 submissions. Nearly all of the department's creative activity is devoted to educating students through major stage productions. Their dean said their production season is experiential learning at its finest. This fall was a first for the department. Students took the playwriting process from idea generation to performance, and the resulting production of Once the World Stopped was recorded and streamed online. This effort served as an inspiring example of how theater arts faculty serve their students, and it happened during the middle of the pandemic. This year's award for departmental excellence in teaching goes to the Department of Theater Arts. The next award is a UND Foundation Lydia and Arthur Psyche Faculty Award for Excellence in Service. This associate professor is known as a servant leader. A former colleague wrote, he consistently puts the needs of the university above his own career. He demonstrated this call to service as chair of the university senate. At the same time, he acted as one of the co-chairs for the strategic planning. And normally, the senate chair has a reduced class schedule. His department is small, so he handled the additional responsibilities while still teaching a full class load. The former colleague went on to say, honestly, I could call his work with strategic planning nothing short of heroic. His commitment to service was also recognized by an external colleague who said, the number of service contributions to UND, his community, his profession, and beyond is among the highest I have seen. 
His department chair said he successfully led his program through reaccreditation. The self-study he drafted was highlighted as a model for other programs to follow. A colleague from one of his professional organizations said, we are truly grateful for his service. He's kind, empathetic, patient, and extremely eloquent. This year's award for excellence in service goes to Dana Harsel. The next award is the UND Award for Departmental Excellence in Service. This department has a long-standing commitment to service, and that service goes beyond the university. Faculty play an important role in their professional fields as well as the community, state, and region. Many serve in key leadership roles that shape policy and practice in education. Their department chair wrote, faculty see service as a key component of their department identity. Faculty serve on several committees of the Department of Public Instruction, as well as the North Dakota Council of Educational Leaders. They contribute actively to the development of teachers through the North Dakota Association of Colleges for Teacher Education. Faculty also work hard to support students in our own community. One faculty member is currently teaching Braille on her own time to a private student in East Grand Forks. She's doing this because the school does not have the resources for the service. This department's dean said, during COVID, a group of faculty members pulled together resources to support families with distance learning demands. This effort received significant media attention and provided resources to hundreds of families. This year's award for departmental excellence and service goes to the Department of Teaching, Leadership, and Professional Practice. Our next award is the UND Award for Interdisciplinary Collaboration in Research and Creative Activity. The recipients of this award are members of departments within the School of Medicine and Health Sciences and the College of Nursing and Professional Disciplines. Together, they partnered with Stanford Health to develop a web-based portal for healthcare providers and the public. The portal is designed to assist people struggling with behavioral health problems made worse by the pandemic. The project offers a series of online modules aimed at helping people with common behavioral health conditions and promoting treatment. Vice President for Health Affairs Josh Wynn said, this project brought together by these individuals through interdisciplinary collaboration is exemplary of the spirit of this award. The Dean of the College of Nursing and Professional Disciplines, Diana Kostreski said, this innovative approach to the delivery of behavioral health care during a global pandemic is a model that serves the needs of rural communities. This year's award for interdisciplinary collaboration in research and creative activity goes to the Behavioral Health Bridge Project. The collaborators from the School of Medicine and Health Sciences are Andrew McLean and Shonda Schroeder, from the College of Nursing and Professional Disciplines, Thomasine Heitkamp, and from Stanford Health, Stephen Wunderlich. Dr. Wunderlich also holds a clinical appointment with the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Our next award is the UND Foundation McDermott Faculty Award for Excellence in Research and or Creative Activity. This associate professor is internationally recognized for his research. His department chair said, he is an excellent example of how a faculty member can develop and maintain a high quality research program without compromising teaching or involvement in service. Over the last four years, he's received nine research grants for a total of $1.6 million. And these awards provided more than 45 semesters of support for graduate students. They also supported a postdoctoral research associate for more than two and a half years. A colleague wrote, he publishes his work in high quality peer reviewed journals. He and his students present their results at quality technical conferences. He always takes time to work with faculty and students to help them with their areas of research. One of his former graduate students said, Without his patience and consistent guidance, I never would have had the confidence and love of research I now have. Another student said he is incredibly intelligent, patient, and dedicated in his research and to ensuring the success of his students. This year's award for excellence in research and or creative activity goes to Gotham Krishnamurthy from the Department of Chemical Engineering. Our next award is the UND Award for Departmental Excellence in Research. 
The faculty in this department are committed to pursuing knowledge that helps solve significant issues. They have an impressive record of exemplary research in economics and finance. Their work is showcased in many academic journals, practitioner journals, and media outlets. The department's chair said, despite our smaller size, our faculty focus on quality research. They target top journals that are the playing field of bigger schools with larger budgets. This department is also committed to the ideal that the public university needs to contribute to the state. The department's dean said, faculty conduct research on issues that impact North Dakota. This includes issues in higher education finance, oil production and bank deposits in the Bakken Formation, mental health stigma, and many more. This year's award for Departmental Excellence in Research goes to the Department of Economics and Finance in the Nistler College of Business and Public Administration. The role of an advisor is more than helping students fulfill their graduation requirements. Advisors help students find courses that pique their curiosity. They help students stay engaged. And they can also open doors of opportunity unknown to students. Effective advising can help students pace their courses and move towards success. Our first award for advising is the UND Foundation Carleen Home Rosean Award for Excellence in Academic Advising. This associate professor cares deeply about students and she wants them to succeed. She's a problem solver. Students often turn to her when they face challenges. One student said, she's got great communication skills. You can go to her for anything and she will give you the best and honest advice. Another student wrote about how she created a remote class which was designed specifically for him and he called it a remote class for one. This allowed the student to remain in his home state for his final semester. And the student said, I can't thank her enough for what she's done for me during my entire UND career. Another student who was struggling with the class received helpful advice from this advisor. The student said, I asked her about study skills that she used as a student, and she just gave me many helpful tips. The Award for Excellence in Academic Advising goes to Sally Pyle, Associate Professor of Biology. This year, we have five recipients for the VPA Award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising. Our first recipient always takes the time to talk with students, and she's willing to talk to them about anything. She responds quickly to student emails and typically gives them many options from which to choose. One student talked about her constant willingness to go above and beyond. The student said, she helped me figure out a plan to complete work for my private pilot license. She explained how that plan would change my classes and course load. The student went on to say she was able to help me figure out how to graduate in four years, which was a large help to me. The award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising goes to Lindsay Archer, Academic Advisor for the John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences. Our next recipient works hard to recognize and acknowledge student strengths. She gets to know her students academically and personally. She's never afraid to spend extra time with a student, even if they go past their scheduled meeting time. One student said, I know I can trust her with anything, and I can also go to her for help in any area, classes, work, stress, time management, and the list goes on. When students experience challenges, she often helps them look at the optimistic side of their experience. One student said, even though this semester was not what I wanted it to be, I am staying strong and I am extremely excited for next semester, all because of her. Another student said, she truly is wonderful and has made my experience at UND so much better. The award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising goes to Kayla Hotvet, Lead Academic Advisor for AVP Student Success, Criminal Justice, Sociology, and the College of Arts and Sciences. Our next recipient develops a strong rapport with each of her advisees. She takes the time and effort to learn about their academic history, interests, goals, and even setbacks. One student said, she's truly incredible. She's a mentor. She always has suggestions that are beneficial to me academically and socially. A colleague said, she's our go-to person. There are even times when our alumni return to visit her and they engage in long conversations. 
Another colleague remarked, she has great communication skills, a patient demeanor, and a genuine desire to give students a great experience at UND. The award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising goes to Judy Jonke, Lead Academic Advisor from the Nistler College of Business and Public Administration. Our next recipient goes above and beyond to ensure that she listens and understands the needs of students. Over the past year, she worked with many students who faced the challenges of the pandemic. She was a strong advocate for each student and worked hard to collaborate with others on campus to support students. One of her colleagues talked about a student who was struggling with classes during the pandemic. And the colleague said, she worked with the student to develop the best outcome to ensure the student's success. Her advising style has created a high number of students who routinely seek her counsel and advice. Not only does she help students plan their schedule, but she often checks on them to see how their courses are going. A colleague wrote, she treats her students with compassion and empathy. We're lucky to have her. The award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising goes to Linnea Nelson, Academic Advisor for AVP Student Success. Our next recipient is a UND graduate. She's worked in several departments on campus, which gives her a unique perspective on advising. She's also taught Introduction to University Life 101, a course that's designed for new students to promote personal and academic success. These experiences help her relate to students in a meaningful way. She's known for her enthusiasm and ability to fully understand the policies of her college. A colleague wrote, I've always been impressed with her willingness to respond quickly and make each student feel important. She's an excellent ambassador. The colleague went on to say, when dealing with students, she's able to answer their questions skillfully and is always willing to do research to find answers if needed. The award for Outstanding Professional Academic Advising goes to Kaylee Shear, Academic Core Advisor for AVP Student Success. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the CEO for the UND Alumni Association and Foundation, Deanna Carlson Zink. On behalf of the UND Alumni Association and Foundation, congratulations to all of our award recipients. Since we announced at the beginning of the school year that we had, for the second year in a row, set a fundraising record, I have been talking about how the students of today stand on the shoulders of giants. These giants include donors like Chester Fritz and Werner and Colleen Nissler, and campus visionaries like Webster Merrifield and John D. Odegaard. Also included in that list of giants are those honored today. Each student who earns a degree from this outstanding university does so thanks to the excellence in teaching, research, and service provided by our faculty, staff, and department heads. And in this past year, I know that many of you took part in two initiatives intended to provide emergency aid to students. Nearly 1,000 donors made contributions to the UND Angel Fund and Open Door Scholarship Program in 2020. Thanks to all of our donors, we raised more than a half a million dollars for immediate student needs. These students stand on the shoulders of giants to see their bright future with a UND degree in hand. So thank you. Thank you for believing in UND and the students who look to you for mentorship in addition to classroom knowledge. The faculty, staff, and departments honored on Founders Day are what make a UND education so special and a UND degree so valuable. Congratulations to all of our award winners and to everyone being honored on this Founders Day. Now, President Armacost will close today's program with a group that will touch your heart and pay tribute to your efforts. Thank you, Deanna. Congratulations to all of you who were honored this Founders Day. We leave you with another performance by students from the UND Department of Music. 
The song North was written by musician and composer Ryan O'Neill. It harkens back to the day when O'Neill and his wife moved into their first house. He writes about the stories that will unfold in their new home and how those stories will impact his heart and soul. It's a fitting way to end our celebration because it defines the passion and fortitude that all of you bring to the University of North Dakota. Thank you.